everybody, Jen from Scrapping Under the Influence. I am here with a new project share today. This is Doodlebug Over the Rainbow um, album that I have done. And there will be, <coughs> excuse me, a tutorial for the base um, coming later on. But for now, um, I'm just going to show you the finished album. So I did use the lay flat method for the, um, the base but I wrapped the um, spine to the outside. So if you've made the lay flat, you know it normally goes on the inside. And the way I wrapped this worked insanely well. Like, I was I was really happy with how that came out. Um, this rainbow shaker um, I did with the Cricut. This pink one I like to just kind of congregate down in that bottom. <laughs> uh, I did do this with the Cricut and I will link the file for this in the description below. Um, the clouds are just a cloud die that I had in my stash and then I've outlined all of the clouds with Doodlebug Chunky Twine and I have outlined my rainbow with the Chunky Twine as well. Inside, on this side, we've got just a nice pocket with a magnet. I used one of the doodle pops here. The puffy stickers here. On this side, again, I've got some of the shape sprinkles. Um, a doodle pop there as well. And then this opens up. And I've got two of the cut aparts in here. One of the stickers from the, the uh, this and that sticker sheet. And of course, odds and ends throughout. On the back side here, I've used this tag page. So this is actually a pocket back here. This little guy is glued down, but these three all flip down and you have room to put some small pictures here or journal um, throughout that whole thing. And each one of those is held on there or held closed, that is, with a magnet. The um, page here. I've got a belly band and really you could put a second piece underneath that. But this little odds and ends element slides up and down so his little hot air balloon rises up. I thought that was kind of fun and I am going to um, include, uh, you know, I'll show during this tutorial and actually another one I'm working on how I did this. So that will be coming. On this side I've got again just odds and ends. This one opens up. And we've got a couple of different places to stick some pictures. Uh, behind this photo mat, we've got a pocket. And of course, these are all loose so you could get a, po a picture back behind those little elements there. Okay, and on this side, I've got two pockets actually. I've got a small pocket on the front of the big pocket. And again, I've just, you know, layered those odds and ends to build a little scene. Used one of the icon stickers up there. And on the back side here, I've got a pocket with actually a belly band that apparently when I used my powder tool, I did not get all the adhesive off the back of that one, <laughs> but that's okay. And um, a doodle pop on top of the sticker from the, uh, uh, the this and that sticker sheet. This collection in particular has, the, has a sheet with these big tags and I love these, they're so cute. Um, on this side, I've got a belly band with a pocket down below. I've got just a very simple insert here. I left the inside of it blank. Just white cardstock on the yellow doodlebug cardstock. And then I took one of my stickers, the rainbow stickers, cut it in half from the icon sheet and then used the clouds so I could put those in the opposite corners. Back here I've got just a nice angled pocket. Again, I've done kind of a little scene there. I've used puffy stickers for the hearts and for the little bug. And then I tuck these two little guys back in behind the pocket. <coughs> Excuse me. So over here, I've got just a very basic four by six waterfall. I did mat this with the um, six by six pad that is held closed with a magnet. And the back part of this is actually a pocket. And I've got those other two tags in there as well. Except that doesn't want to sit down. Aha. There we go. Okay, and then each page also has an insert that will hold five by seven pictures. 
So I'm not going to pull all of those out. They're a combination of petite prints and solids and then the little tabs from the bits and pieces pack. So um, there you go. Got another odds and ends pieces down here and then one of the cut aparts on the back. And that's it. I will do a tutorial on the base itself um, later on. But for now, here is my album. Thanks for watching. Bye.